This project is about harvesting water from the atmosphere. When temperatures drop, water forms as droplets on surfaces, called the dew point. Dew point water harvesting is not new and has been used for hundreds of years. Even insects use this method. This project recreates dew point conditions artificially by collecting electrical energy from sunlight and using it to cool a liquid coolant which is stored in an insulated tank. Rather than storing energy in costly batteries, the energy is essentially stored in the liquid coolant and is used to collect dew at night when conditions are best. When the solar PV system stops, the coolant is isolated in an insulated tank. The computer system monitors for ideal conditions to run the pump and pass the coolant through the condenser coils. This condenser coil is enclosed inside a vessel where air is pulled across the condenser coil to draw moisture out of the air. This water then falls as droplets at the bottom of the vessel. It is important to remember that this is a crude prototype, but after running the condenser coils for about six hours, I was able to produce about half a glass of water. The Peltier cooling system uses two Peltiers in series and can bring the temperature down to minus four degrees. It is mounted above the tank to ensure that the liquid runs back into the tank when the power is switched off. Equally, the same thing can be done with the condenser coils, preserving the temperature of the liquid inside the tank. The performance of this prototype could be improved by changing the type of liquid coolant and the insulated tank. Recently, I have changed the tank seen here to a larger tank with better insulation, and this has proven to be quite successful. You'll see an example of this later in this video. This prototype is built completely from off-the-shelf components. The fan seen here pulls air from the bottom of the vessel. Air flows down through the filter at the top and over the condenser coils inside the vessel. This also could be improved by trying to create more turbulence to remove droplets from the condenser coil. No doubt there are many things that could be improved. The vessel, the coil construction and ventilation. There is still some work to be done on the electronics, including the software which Paul Schultz is working on. After some experimentation and trial and error in the workshop, I began to work on a standalone unit. And again, all the components were found in local stores around Adelaide. Using a 260 watt solar panel, I found I was able to run the Peltier cooler quite successfully at low sunshine levels and also charge the battery. After three hours of sunshine, I brought the liquid coolant down to three degrees centigrade. With improved coolant storage and temperatures well below 10 degrees centigrade, dew point conditions can be reproduced and water harvesting achieved. Thank you.